Okay, this is question number 21 on the foundation calculator paper. Now let's read through the question. This question occupies the whole page, so I've actually zoomed in on the graph, and I think a lot of the, the question is going to be around the graph. I'll move around as I go, go through it. Simon went for a cycle ride. He left home at 2 p.m. So actually, looking at the graph, it says here 2 p.m., that's when it started, and that's when he left home. The travel graph represents part of Simon's cycle ride. At 3 p.m., Simon stopped for a rest. So he stopped for a rest at 3 p.m., so there's 3 p.m., and there I can see, yep, he has stopped. It's flat over there. How many minutes did he rest for? How many minutes did he rest for? So he, rest, he stopped for this period here, um, and he started moving again over there, and that's going to be over there. That is halfway between 3 and 4. I can tell that that's going to be 3.30. So how long did he stop for? Well, he stopped for 30 minutes. I think most people should be able to spot that and understand that bit so far. Okay, if we move this up a bit so we can have a look at part B. Okay, part B. How far was Simon from home at 5 p.m.? How far was he from home at 5 p.m.? So if I look at 5 p.m. here and work my way to the top there, how far away from home was he? He was 20 kilometers from home. How do I know his kilometers? But here it says kilometers. So let's do this again. Five go all the way up to the top, 5 p.m., all the way up to the top, and across. So he's 20 kilometers from home. 20 kilometers from home. Okay, so pretty straightforward. The question so far, how many minutes did he rest? We know he was resting because it was flat, and that there represents the time from 3 to 3.30, so he stopped for 30 minutes. How far was he at home at 5 p.m.? Look for 5 p.m. all the way to the graph, and that's where it ends up there, and then go across to 20, 20 kilometers. Let's look at the last part, part C. I'm going to have to move this up and down for the next bit of the question, but let's see what they're asking us to do in part C. At 5 p.m., Simon stopped for 30 minutes. So he stopped for 30 minutes. He then cycled home at a sped steady speed. It took him an hour and 30 minutes to get home. So he stopped for 30 minutes. <clears throat> he stopped for 30 minutes, and then he cycled home at a steady speed. That means it's going to be a straight line, right? And it took him an hour and 30 minutes. So I'm going to break this down, right? Because he stopped for 30 minutes, it's going to be flat for 30 minutes. So the, the line is going to be horizontal, it's going to be flat. He cycled home at a steady speed, so it's going to be a straight line. And it took him an hour and 30 minutes to get home. So I'm going to actually follow that. It's going to be an hour and 30 minutes. So from 5, from 5 p.m., he stopped for 30 minutes. So actually, he starts moving at 5.30 p.m. And because it took him an hour and 30 minutes to get home, so from 5.30 plus an hour and 30, that's going to be 6.30, 7 o'clock. So he gets home at 7 p.m. Now, I've got enough information there to help me finish the rest of this graph. So... And that's what they want, want us to do. So going back to the graph, and I'm referring back to all the information that they said, they gave me. He stops for 30 minutes. So from 5 to 5.30, he's stopped. And they said he get, I uh, worked out that he got back home at 7 o'clock, and he goes back at a steady speed. And that is what his graph is going to look like.
Okay. Now this is a not so straightforward question. However, it is one which if you break it down, you think about it in stages, and actually if you look at this several times and understand it, you'll be able to do almost anything that they throw at you because stages are pretty clear. It's pretty easy and pretty straightforward to understand. Make sure you do it. Make sure you can get full marks in it.